Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win, you find a way to lose. So, I'm not really sure what happened here, man, for Terrence Crawford to have been stripped of his IBF welterweight world title. And Jerome Boone Simmons has been upgraded from interim to full world champion. Uh, but uh, Jerome Boone Simmons is listed as a champ. And Crawford's been taking out those IBF rankings. Now, I'm going to tell you this. There's, there's something that's, that's, that's going on. Now, we know that Crawford and Spence, the rematch, at what weight, uh, Crawford was telling us that he has no intentions of fighting Boots in us. So now people are saying, you know, Crawford ducked Boots in us. I, I think, I, I don't think I know it's more than that. But as the days go by, we'll start being able to fill in the gaps on what exactly transpired here. Because, let me, let me, let me take a look at something here real quick. Right here. When I look here, Come on in, Pochi. Okay, good job. I'll come finish the eyes in a second, okay? Okay? All right. That's my little man. So let me let me look at something here real quick. Um, okay, so they haven't they haven't gone and, and made that correction yet. Okay. So the bottom line is. For me, it's like, okay, I don't care that Boots Ennis has the title now. He has the, he has the, he has the title, great. But that means Crawford is no longer undisputed at 147, which I'm not surprised that he was cool with letting those belts go. But he didn't let go of that WBO strap, which seems to be the one that would matter the most because with the WBO strap, he can still go directly at Tim Zhu, pick up the strap, and then look to... To, to unify with Jamel, if Jamel can stay undefeated and uh, continue his journey to become an undisputed in a third weight division. Now, I'm going to tell you this, that um, there were a lot of discussions that took place at the WBO conference. Terrence Crawford has a great relationship with a lot of the presidents of the sanctioning bodies. And I, from, from what I've read and what I've gathered, uh, Terrence Crawford and some of the key decision makers behind the scenes have collectively sat down and talked about the way ahead for Terrence Crawford. As far as what was discussed, I'm not sure, but I do know there was something talked about as far as him just being able to keep that WBO belt at 147. Now, we got to see what happens with him and Earl Spence. Is that 154? What's going to take place? Do they fight now? We don't know. Tim Zhu? They're supposed to be planning a huge event in March. It's like an Australian event in Las Vegas that's boxing because uh, it's a huge, there's a couple things going on that's going to have like 15,000 Aussies in uh, Las Vegas uh, during that weekend where they're planning the event for, for Tim Zoo. And I just got to wait and see what's going to happen. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of things kind of up in the air and we just got to wait and see when things settle, you know, what exactly that we have. But I, I'm not surprised. All this stuff about Colin Crawford, scared, he's a duck. I think I think Crawford is a step ahead of all of us as far as what he has coming down the pipeline. And I think people are gonna gonna say when they find out what he has lined up next and the kind of money he's gonna make, they're gonna say, okay, we understand why he let those belts go. I get a sanction of bodies all your money. You can go out here and make X, Y, and Z. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. This makes me wonder if Crawford's going to be fighting out there in Saudi, December 23rd, because there was that um, there was that post that came out where they were just saying basically everyone's going to be shocked at you know who's going to be fighting in Saudi on the 23rd of December. Some of the biggest names in boxing are going to be out there fighting, and people are going to be surprised. So let's wait and see how that materializes. That being said, it's official. Crawford no longer the IBF champion. It is what it is. Jerome Boots in is, is the man. Crawford chose not to defend against him, which is his right. But before I jump on the bandwagon and start saying, ah, well, you know, he was afraid to lose, which I know it's not the case. I'm looking at the bigger picture. What exactly uh, was discussed and what is in the pipeline? So I think we're going to be able to expect uh, some a big announcement sooner than later. 
That being said, y'all keep cool. Still a little shocked at this news, but um, not dumbfounded. I'm in the breeze.